In today's Irish Times, there's an interesting article there about the fake news and people's trust in media and so on. Over the last while, I've made a number of videos on my YouTube channel dealing with, from time to time, controversial issues. Issues like the resignation of Dolores, Dolores Cahill from the party that she was a Freedom Party, Irish Freedom Party, as chairman or chairperson of that party. I've made a video about Van Morrison's attitude to COVID-19 and the lockdown and restrictions and so on. And I've made another one about, I think, Black Lives Matters and stuff like that. But from time to time, I have raised some topical issues and discussed topical issues. And I have been castigated and criticised heavily by some individuals that my biggest mistake was trusting the media and that I was a slave to RTE and I was a slave to the Irish Times and basically the sources of knowledge, the sources of information, the sources of news that I was relying on were old hat and were a thing of the past. And the particular individuals, the particular conspiracy theorists, quite frankly, were suggesting that I should do more research online and so on, and that I should really take a look at, a hard look at my sources of information and my sources of news. The story in the Irish Times today, though, was a bit of an eye-opener because it actually shows that Irish people have become more interested in the news over the past 12 months, and levels of trust in the news have also increased amid high levels of concern about fake news and information being disseminated, misinformation being disseminated on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Telegram and so on. The Writers Institute Digital News Report is the largest ongoing comparative study of new consumption in the world and it took a sample of 2,000 Irish people. Of the 2,000 Irish people, the number of consumers who cite television as their main source of news rose to 41%. The next most popular uh, source of news is online, excluding social media and blogs. That's at 29%. And social media is at 16%. The number of consumers citing radio has fallen um, to 9%. But levels of trust in news in Ireland increased by 5 percentage po points over the past five years, with over the past year rather, with 53% of respondents expressing positive levels of trust and the most trusted news brand at 78% is RTE and the second most trusted is the Irish Times on 77%. So RTE is the most trusted news brand at 78% and the Irish Times is the, most, uh, the second most trusted at 77%. The bottom line is that the individuals who drag grievances around like clanking chains, who engage in conspiracy theories and suggest that we should be getting our news, our information, our intelligence from the likes of Facebook and WhatsApp and Facebook groups and so on, obviously is a noisy but small minority because the vast majority of people like me rely on RTE and rely on the Irish Times and rely on trusted news sources to decide and make up their opinion about various issues like black lives mattering, racism, ultra or alt-right views, COVID-19, Gemma O'Doherty and John Waters, Dolores Cahill and so on. The bottom line is that the individuals who are criticising me, and I don't really give a shit, quite frankly, in the comments on YouTube for being out of touch are actually the ones who are well out of touch and who fail to recognise that most ordinary decent people rely on RTE and rely on the Irish Times and rely on mainstream media to make up their mind about issues 
to gather information about issues and to form their own reasoned opinion based on analysis, based on evidence, based on data. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. It's in today's Irish Times and today is the, not date is today, it's the 23rd of June 2021 and Irish people's trust in the media has increased amid concern over fake news. So the next time you're going to take out that keyboard and bang away at me telling me that I'm out of touch or that I'm relying on the wrong sources, me and plenty of others, quite frankly. Anyway, I hope you like this video and you'll give it a thumbs up down below. And if you don't like it, well, you know what you can do.